Oh, don't look now, but Chip Kelly's baby Bruins, they are surging. Winners of three straight games, not going to be any easier. On the road, though, in Salt Lake City against one of the premier teams in the entire country. And just in case you don't believe it, I'm not, I'm not lying here. The winner of this game controls its own destiny in that South Division. It's exactly what you thought it was going to be, right, Yogi? Oh, yeah, especially in September. Oh, yeah. Yeah, at the end of that <laughs> month, UCLA struggling. But no, this is going to be fun because if we're going to be truth tellers, to your point, it's a championship environment. I think that bodes well. Of course, for both teams in recruiting as they're building their program specifically for Chip Kelly. But I think for this instance, it's Utah. You look at UCLA's record, the team sees scores, maybe didn't see film from the first month of the season, and there could be a lapse in judgment, a lapse in preparation. I don't think that's the case because of the stakes that are there. So I think Utah plays relentless, like Francis Bernard told us on Inside Pac-12 Football. I think they play really well on defense. Won't be easy, but I expect Utah to continue the track towards the title game. Is there something that UCLA can do on the road? I'm not even saying give them a chance because I think this team has shown that they can compete, but is there something that can put them over the top in a game like this? I'll say this. You know, we've watched every snap, right? And the one thing that UCLA does, as well as anybody in the country, and there's only a few teams in the country that I think do this, which is scheme up on offense. A lot of teams on offense run their offense. Regardless of the defense, they're going to run their plays. And yes, on certain situations, they'll scheme things. But UCLA, they will window dress their entire game plan. And Chip Kelly, oh, by the way, if you're not looking at the schedule, he had an extra week to prepare for this. So you'll see four tight ends. You'll see zero tight ends. You'll see formations and personnel groupings that have never been there before for that Utah defense to study and learn from. So they're gonna, my point is they're going to scheme up some first downs. So if Utah is too hyped, over aggressive, over relentless, then UCLA will be able to hit him with a couple explosive plays. And oh, by the way, since they got into Pac 12 play, Mike, UCLA leads the Pac 12 in rushing. Think about that. They are moving the football. They lead the Pac-12 in points on offense, so they're really confident is that point. The stage will be difficult, but I can't wait to see how this dramatically young team handles it. Well, you got to assume the Mighty Must be ready to rock and roll in Salt Lake City, and if they need a little extra push, just know that fans in Eugene are rooting for Utah just when we start thinking about a Pac-12 championship game, not to mention the college football playoff uh, rankings. Maybe Chip Kelly's team, though, spoils it all. We got you covered end of the night. Don't miss Final Score on Pac-12 Network.